with factorising, <coughs> we have three terms here, and we're looking for two numbers which times to make the third number, and they add to make the second number. And of course, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So, in the second example, 8 times 2 is 16, and 8 plus 2 is 10. Now, sometimes the signs can change. But in the case where just the second sign has changed, the two numbers are timesing to make 16 and still making 10. So 8 and 2 are still the correct numbers. But to get a minus 10, we need a minus 8 and a minus 2. Now this still works because minus 8 times minus 2 is still plus 16. Because when you multiply, the two negatives cancel out and give you a plus 16. So the fourth example is similar. We're now looking for two numbers which times to make 6 and can somehow combine to make 5. Well, with practice and experience, you'll find that 3 and 2 make times to make 6. However, if we have a minus 3 and a minus 2, then minus 3 times minus 2 is still plus 6, but minus 3 take away 2 is minus 5. So, we have looked at the examples where all the signs are positive, and then where the second sign is negative. The third case is where the third number is negative. So we have two numbers which times to make minus 10. To get a negative number, 1 must be plus and 1 must be negative. So two numbers times to make 10. If I put a plus 5 and a minus 2 in, then minus 5, sorry, plus 5 times minus 2 is indeed minus 10, but 5 take away 2 is 3. And in the final example of this type, we have a negative, so we need a plus and a minus, the numbers times to make. 12. Well, 6 and 2 certainly work. If I put plus 6 and minus 2, that would make 4. I need a minus 4. So instead, I put plus 2 and minus 6, because 2 times minus 6 is minus 12, and 2 take away 6 is minus 4. The last example is called the difference of two squares. They are both square numbers. There are no x terms. It's a special case, and if I put plus 3 and minus 3 in, then x times x is x squared, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, and the x terms, 3 take away 3, gives us no x's, have cancelled out. And that again is called the difference of two squares. Now one application of this is called algebraic fractions, where you try to factorise the things in the expression. So we have an 8 and a 6. We need to have two numbers which times to make 8 and add to make 6. Well, 4 and 
2 times to make 8 and 4 plus 2 is 6 and then the things that are the same top and bottom cancel out and we're left with 1 over x plus 4 the second one we write out the top longhand and then we recognise that as being the difference of two squares which should be 4 x plus 3 and x minus 3 we look for what cancels and we're left with 3 x add 3 x minus 3 and that is a simplified cancel down fraction